everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and I have another exciting kit to share with you. This is a brand new kit in 35th scale from Border Models, and this is the Type 7C U-Boat, and for lack of a better word, we're going to call it center section. So it's the, the middle part of the ship where all the fighting area is, where the crew would all be, things like that, in a 35th scale. Because obviously in 35th scale, if this was the full ship, it would be about six feet long and quite <laughs> kind of unwieldy for most, uh, most modelers there. So we're going to take a look inside at this new kit here. Plus also, Border has come out with uh, two packs of resin figures to update your kit here. Both, uh, one for like torpedoes and one for the 88 millimeter gun. Plus it has like the captain and the XO up on the, uh, the top of the conning tower there. So best part of all is this kit is available right now. You can go onto our website, andyshhq.com and these and all these figure sets are all available on our website. You can go check them out over there. It's a really cool thing. It's a big piece of plastic as its base, as you can imagine on it there, and I'm excited to share it with you. So, let's get started. Here we are, guys. This is one that I've been waiting for a long time for. I uh, actually heard about this about a year ago when they, uh, the people at Border first told me about it and very excited to see it now. So this is the Border Models 35th scale, big 35th scale, German Type 7C U-boat. Now, this is only the center section of the U-boat. So it, in, it includes the bridge and the weapons areas. Uh, so you have like the 88 millimeter gun or the 37 mounted in the back. So it's pretty much everything that you would see almost in this picture. So the front and back are not on here. In fact, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a side view here of the box just to show you how it's cut off. Obviously in 35th scale, this entire vehicle, or <laughs> vehicle, this submarine would be huge and a lot more than most people could handle and for display. But this gives you a nice representation of the main fighting part. And then you also have these. These are the crew sets that are all available separately. They are resin 35th scale figures. Both kits include the two commanders up on top here, the captain and uh, probably his XO there. But you also have the option that you can get this set here. This will have the four crew that are manning the 88 on the front deck. Or you can also get the three crew that are loading the torpedo. And the torpedo is part of the actual kit. So it's inside this box right here. And with this is why I'm so excited about this. There's so many different ways you can do with this. Uh, you can build basically a little dockside scene, which I'm kind of leaning towards with some of the RT diorama things, like some buildings, a dock, and have the crew loading up a torpedo. Plus, you can have 35th scale vehicles everywhere. You can have the Opal Blitz from Tamiya loading supplies, just all kinds of cool stuff. And then if you want to do a scene that's possibly in the water, you have the, the gun crew here as well. So I will open these up and show you a few of these figures a little bit later in the, the video. But right now we're going to concentrate and showing you all of the parts that are inside this big guy right here. So let's start that right now. Okay, let's take a look at this beast. Here is the, uh, the main base of the sub here. And actually I'll just pick it up and kind of give you a little close up view of how this looks. It is pretty cool looking. So as you can see, all of the, the grates here are all hollowed through. See my hand from underneath there. We've got the front section here where you would uh, stow the torpedo. We've got the gun area here. This is where the 88 is gonna get mounted. You've got the area where the conning tower is gonna mount on there. And some more hatches, things like that. Now I'm gonna put this down for one sec because this cutting mat is 26 inches long so it's almost exactly the size of the center section of this kit so 26 inches really good surface to work on you got lots of room to put 35th scale figures all over this uh, very very nice okay now that i've shown you the the main body we can move the camera in a little bit closer because these parts are not going to be as large so here we have our uh, our conning tower here and right off, you'll notice that there is some slide molding to get these areas hollowed out. And just look up close. Look how nicely detailed this thing is. 
Get you both sides of that. Very, very nicely done. Put that off to the side there. And now we'll take a look at uh, some of the other big pieces here. Here is our torpedo. Here is the top deck of the tower where the commander would stand, the captain. Some more slide molding right here. And then lots of bracing, lots of the handrails that go around here. To look at it, some of the different angles there. That's parts for the torpedo, like we talked about. Next up, we have not actually quite sure what this is right here. Obviously, this goes around the tower there, but this is some unusual pieces. This is a smaller one of the sprues. If you can see just like that. Now, the next piece I'm showing you, I'm going to carefully bring it out. We're going to show you how it's actually stowed in the box. And they did it this way to help protect all of these delicate, delicate pieces here. You can see here we've got the, uh, the rails that go all the way around, how it's all molded in like that. And like I said, it's, it comes shipped with the box around it to help protect those so they don't get damaged in transport. Now we have some of the other large sprue here. There is the 37 millimeter gun. See, it is slide molded there. Let's kind of show you up close the parts. Just like that. And then we've got two of this sprue here. Put one off to the side here. You've got some more railings, some of the hatches, some of the valves. Looks like we've got a uh, box with a couple of the 88 millimeter shells in it. Firing at surface ships, life preserver. And remember we get two of this particular sprue here. And the last sprue we're going to take a look at is the F sprue here. It has some of the little accessories on it. A little tiny stuff here and there. Uh, one other thing I want to point out to you, too, is I have to admit, I was looking through the, the box here trying to find the 88 barrel and did not notice that it was on the edge of the uh, the railing sprue. <laughs> so here it is. I was tearing the box apart going, where the heck is it? Did it not include it in here? But it is. You can see it's slide molded. It's all hollowed out, ready to go onto the kit. So that is on the sprue with all of the rails. Now we're going to look at some of the uh, the extra accessories here that come in the kit. So we have the uh, the little puffy swordfish decal. Let me zoom in a little bit on this stuff here. We've got our red devil there, as well as the shield. A little bit of wiring here, and of course some photo etch. That will all that stuff will be included inside of the kit. And finally, here are those instructions I was telling you about. So you can see the other two kits. We'll take a look at both of those kits in just a couple seconds, but briefly just go through the instructions and let you see how this kit is going to go together. And as always, if you want to see a little longer on a step, just hit pause on your player that you're watching this on. We won't spend too much time. I think this kit is actually going to go together pretty, pretty easily. There's a decent number of parts, but not nothing crazy that's going to tie you down. And finally, we have a couple of the different markings for the U-boat here. Okay, and here is a, a little better view of the figure sets that are coming out. Now, they are set three and two. 
And both sets include the two captain type figures up on top here, the command, the ones the guys in charge right here. So those are universal to the two sets. And, and then you've got four guys manning the gun crew here for the 88. Or if you're doing more of like a dockside thing, you can got the three guys loading the torpedo down the chute into the, uh, the torpedo hold. Now inside each one of the kits, all of the figures are going to come boxed up in these nice little uh, protective cases. So because they are resin, we obviously want to treat them as, uh, as careful as possible so you don't break anything. But in those type of packages, I think it's going to do a great job, keep them nice and well protected. And I'm going to open up a couple of the figures here and let you see the quality on it. Now, as I was telling you earlier, they were molded by the artist named Jason. There we go. Actually, that's going to be a little bit better the detail and this is one of the uh, the officer figures just like that and since I leave my hand right there let you see the head too the head sculpt it's got his binoculars with him there and then of course nice deep cuts in all of the clothing and I know I've said it before, but yeah, Jason, the artist who does all the artwork for the boxes, also does all the sculpting on these and just really did a nice, nice job on it. And this is the other arm. Just like that. And I thought I would also show you just one other figure too. Here is the guy crouching. This is the guy helping guide the torpedo into the hold. Here is his arm flip this around for you guys once again same deep cuts i'm obviously not going to show you every one of these figures because it's i want to keep this video <laughs> fairly short and sweet but it'll give you a good idea how these all are now both of these sets are also available right now uh the the set with five figures in it this is $44.99. The set with six figures is $49.99. And once again, they are available on our website right now. You can order these as well as the sub. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick look at this new Type 7 U-Boat in 35th scale from Border Models. I think it's an incredible looking kit. It looks very, very nice. And the possibilities that you can do with this, from the dioramas to water dioramas to docks, uh, loading stuff, 35th scale just offers so many opportunities because there's so many things available in 35th scale that you can add to it. So remember, this is available right now on our website on andyshhq.com. If you want to, you can go check it out on there. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.